Good morning. I'm making this video for uh, the guys at the Inman Pro Coffee Shop that have been saving all of these uh, coffee grounds here. These are espresso coffee grounds. Um, so this is to show them what I've been doing with them all. We're actually going to be inoculating the coffee grounds this morning uh, with um, oyster mushroom spawn. And uh, here's, uh, here's some spawn right here. Um, this is available from a company called, called Fungi Perfecti. There you go. And uh, they have, they're based out in Washington State on the West Coast. And, um, you know, you can mail order this spawn. I've been saving up the, uh, the espresso coffee grounds um, for a while now in the freezer. It's just, and uh, these are all defrosted, of course. But, um, but that way you can kind of save them up without them going, going rotten. So we're also going to be using this. This is about two weeks old now. Um, and this is uh, some coffee grounds that I previously inoculated with the uh, oyster mushroom spawn. So uh, you can see there it's uh, growing, it's all nice and white. And we're going to be putting it into this paint bucket here. Uh, so, uh, so at the end of the day, we'll have, or at the end of the morning, we'll have two buckets of uh, inoculated um, espresso coffee. And you can expect mushrooms to grow in about, you know, three to four weeks uh, following that inoculation. And gloves on because the coffee grounds tend to stain your hands a little bit. So uh, here's what it looks like in the bag. And this bag comes with a special filter which uh, lets um, water and moisture in and out. I mean, sorry, oxygen and moisture in and out. These mushrooms, they need lots of oxygen. They also need light, uh, this particular kind. And um, they need, um, don't need too much moisture, otherwise they'll grow like a green mold. I'm just going to break this part and get this spawn out and start mixing in the fresh coffee ground. So there it is, and uh, you can see it's full of um, full of the mushroom uh, mycelium. about two weeks ago and the mushroom mycelium has spread throughout the uh, coffee grounds within this bucket. So finishing up. Right, so let's get the last of this spawn onto these and you'll see that they're, they're fairly full and you'll see why I did that in a second. So I don't want to waste any of this. It goes and kind of mix it in like layer above layer. And you also see there's like bits of paper in this coffee grounds that the mushrooms will digest all of that as they grow. So. <coughs> okay, so just finally mix this one in. Oops. Bag. This is the bag with that uh, filter in. I'm actually going to take about a gallon out of these two and then seal this bag up again so that basically we can, that we can start a new colony. really need to pat it down, kind of smooth it out. Pat it down just gently like that. Okay. 
And then we need to, so these mushrooms need oxygen, they need uh, some indirect sunlight, not direct sunlight, and um, they need a little bit of humidity. So here's what I've got. I've got a bag, and it's, while it's still folded up, I'm just going to make some little cuts in it so that this, there'll be holes when I unfold it, just like making a snowflake in school.